questions, question oral. The Honorable Leader of the Opposition. Monsieur le Président. Mr. Speaker, the Prime Minister said that state actors around the world, be they China or elsewhere or others, continue to act aggressively towards our institutions and our democracy. What kinds of aggressive games are they playing? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, whether it be Russian disinformation about what's happening in Ukraine or Chinese interference in the diaspora and the media, whether it be the Iranian government putting pressure on Canadians of Iranian origin, we always remain vigilant to protect all Canadians from foreign interference. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. I met with uh, the Chinese President and said he, quote, his office said he, quote, raised our serious concerns about interference activities in Canada. Was the Prime Minister ever briefed about any of these, uh, and I quote, interfer interference activities that he says that the Prime Minister says went on in Canada. Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, I am regularly briefed by intelligence officials and uh, security experts uh, on threats to Canada and to Canadians, whether it be uh, cyber threats, whether it be uh, interference with Canadian diaspora communities, uh, whether it be use of uh, online misinformation or disinformation. There are a range of uh, threats out there that Canadians and Canadian security agencies uh, continue to be vigilant against. We will always be there to protect Canadians. Leader of the opposition. What specific interference was the Prime Minister referring to when he raised his serious concerns about interference with the Chinese President? Yeah. Honourable Prime Minister. We've known for many years uh, that uh, there are uh, consistent engagements by uh, representatives of the Chinese government into uh, Canadian communities with local media, uh, reports of uh, illicit uh, Chinese police stations. These are all things that we continue to be concerned about, that our officials uh, stay active on, uh, and that we will continue to be vigilant around to keep Canadians safe. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. The Prime Minister... Uh, continues to ignore the crisis that Canadian households are about to face with the skyrocketing home heating bills. They are expected to double in, in many many communities. Some co households will be stuck paying five to six thousand dollars a year, and yet he wants to not just maintain but triple, triple, and then triple his carbon tax on Canadians. Now he might play a game of delaying the implementation in a few provinces. But why wouldn't he take decisive action to reverse the damage he's caused to all Canadian and all of their homes by reversing the carbon tax on home heating altogether? Here, here. The right honourable Prime Minister. Speaker, the price on pollution returns more money to the average families across the country than uh, it costs them. It's a way of fighting climate change and putting more money in the pockets of Canadians. That's uh, what Canadians in Atlantic Canada uh, and elsewhere across the country are going to be able to benefit from. As we step up in the fight against climate change, we will be putting more money back in the pockets of Canadians that need it. Uh, Conservatives continue to spread misinformation and disinformation on that. Uh, we need to continue to be there for Canadians, and we will. Here, here. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Our information comes from the man that he appointed as the <laughs> Parliamentary That's Budget right. Officer, and that same official calculated that 60% of Canadians will pay more in carbon tax costs than they get back in any rebates, and that is even higher in provinces where the federally imposed but provincially administered tax does not come with any rebate at all. The Prime Minister wants to go further in increasing the costs of, of Canadians to drive, to eat, and to uh, heat themselves throughout the very cold winter that's just ahead. Will he show some common sense and stop attacking the people on the ground like his minister and reverse the tax? Yeah. Honourable Prime Minister. 
Mr. Speaker, Canadians from coast to coast to coast, but particularly in Atlantic Canada, where they saw the devastating impact of Hurricane Fiona, know that we have to continue uh, in stepping up in our fight against climate change. And what we are doing, what we've been doing for years, is ensuring that while we fight climate change, we support families that actually need it. That's how. That's why the carbon price actually returns more money to the average families uh, than uh, they pay. And that's something that was confirmed by the Parliamentary Budget Officer. We will continue to be there to support Canadians while we fight climate change instead of peddling disinformation like the Conservatives.